Hello Flustube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you what other things I bought for my uh, um, hand, wor hand working to say so. Um, many of them still are going to be Halloween or some of them are still going to be Halloweenish. Uh, and I bought uh, some fabric because I am thinking of uh, um, making uh, some of my Halloween works into pink keeps, you know, because Halloween is once a year and you can decorate your house with Halloween um, stitched uh, things like a month, a month and a half, mostly true, but I think a month, a month and a half. Mm. It's, it's October, usually it's the end of September and it's October. That's why I won't keep Halloween uh, things in my house the whole, the whole year round. And I thought about like making them into pink hips and the back of the pink hips like uh, to use uh, fabric. And on eBay I bought some Halloween fabric. Just a sec. I didn't buy big uh, big uh, parts of fabric because I wanted to see how they look like and to have a variety, a diversity. Maybe next year I'm going to buy more and I'll start having like a collection. And I like them very much. And by the way, I'm thinking of buying some Christmas uh, designs too. Christmas themed because they are beautiful. This one is mostly orange with bats. And this one, this one also is beautiful. You see it's small print and it's a lot of... I, mean, I like this combination of color. Maybe that's why I say it's so beautiful. And I also bought um, Organza ribbon. And it's like this intense purple. It's intense orange and this neon green. Also, I'm thinking like using that for something. I bought such a small piece of uh, uh, linen. It's a wix that works. It's confederate gray and it's 30th count. And this is a tiny piece. Um, I need it for uh, uh, just another button design. And I bought such a... The design is small. That's why I bought such a small... Uh, piece and uh, one of the reasons uh, was to see how the color looks like because I was thinking that if I would like the color super duper much I would use this color as well for my um, Cricut collection Free Gables house. Uh, the color is great, but still I'm not going to use it for um, for that uh, design. That design is going to be stitched on vintage mocha um, linen from uh, Zweigart. I also bought some uh, pens from uh, Pilot. So this, why they are so great for um, handcraft? Because you can write with them on your chart, like original chart, and then you can like rub them. Because this uh, um, this can be rubbed, even if they are colorful and even if they are um, markers, something like this. As well, I uh, bought two more pieces for my collection from uh, Lavender and Lace and Butternut Road. So I have um, the Celtic Autumn. I didn't have it in, in my collection and I bought it. And I have from Butternut Road such girls, beautiful girls. Use Catch the Wind called this one. Something like this. I also bought such a small uh, kit from DMC. I was with my child in Hobbycraft and I just got very quickly. I wanted to buy something else and I bought, but this one just caught my attention. I didn't have time to examine it. I just grabbed it, paid for it and already at home I looked at it and I got disappointed. So it should be such a... Um, <laughs> pendant, embroidered pendant. And uh, why did I buy? Because I want to um, be able to do such kind of flowers, this technique. And why I'm disappointed? Because in the kit, so what actually it was in the kit, it was this pendant and that's it. And uh, they write here that what materials should be bought. So no needle, no nothing. And the chart itself, it's on this paper. Like I have to cut the, the box and look at the instructions. That's why I'm so disappointed with this thing. So 
but it's my fault of course because I didn't have time to look in the shop and buy it properly. If I am to speak about my next purchase, um, I have to tell you a whole story because this purchase has a whole story. So what you have in front of you is the um, chart um, of uh, Acorn Sampler by uh, Sandy Wharton. And uh, this, uh, this chart is uh, sold by Cooler Design Studio. And um, I bought it from uh, 123stitch.com. Um, I was showing it in my August purchases, if I'm not wrong, and uh, the reason I'm showing it to you again is to tell you that this chart is not okay. Not okay meaning that uh, um, the what's inside, it's not, uh, it's not okay. Uh, how come? So I bought the chart with the meaning of like stitching it this autumn, that's why I just it's not just buying it and put it in my box and forgetting about it. I opened it and I tried to find the materials. Um, no, I didn't open the, the chart. You know that when you buy uh, charts or um, something from uh, one to three stitch, which um, charts, especially it's chart, uh, when they require fabric, uh, specialty threads, DMC threads, beads, uh, so on and so forth, so um, uh, when when you are buying uh, uh, buying this uh, the shop this shop gives you the opportunity of um, um, choosing if they are selling these materials you can choose and you can buy them. So uh, when buying this um, chart, I was looking at the materials and uh, I saw that uh, there was uh, um, antique ivory. Cashel linen, linen from Zweigart, and there were two colors of uh, Kranich thread. And um, I ordered uh, this fabric from a local shop, so I didn't order it from one to three. And when looking at the Kranich um, numbers, I just decided to look in my stash to see if I have them. And lucky me, I had them. So this I like this one. It's 032, uh, very fine for braid. And it's uh, zero zero two, very fine for bread braid. So I, actually, it's like I bought the the chart, and while the chart was coming to me, I will um, this two cranic I had in my stash. I have uh, already DMC because I have the whole um, DMC thread numbers, and I I ordered the um, fabric which also came to me. Um, when the chart came, I was very eager, so I opened it, I looked for it, and I started noticing that something is not okay. How did I know that something is not okay? Because uh, previously I was looking on YouTube on, um, videos which showed uh, this um, the process of this sampler, and I already knew some uh, things. So I, I and I I knew. I noticed, uh, the first thing I knew is that there are speciality uh, stitches like um, Bargello, I don't remember which ones. So when I opened it, um, I just looked, so the uh, materials are the ones which were shown on uh, one to three stitch. So it's uh, Antique Ivory Aida, uh, what else, the Cranic, it's uh, very fine bread, 002, 032. But when I started looking here, uh, I already noticed that something is not okay because here they show just uh, that you have to do back stitch, you have to do straight stitch, and this is one fourth uh, stitch, and that's it. So no bargello, no nothing else. But I know that there are many, many others, and um, I continued looking. So here again, nothing about the speciality stitches. It's lazy daisy, which is not even present here, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and I went to the chart. I will show you this chart because this chart is not okay. This is this is a wrong chart, I would say. So, for example, here at this acorns, they are showing cross stitches. It shouldn't be cross stitches. So for sure, it shouldn't be cross stitches. What else? Um, at this part of chart, for example. So for this acorns again, it's a different uh, kind of stitch. But here it's just cross stitch, you know. I know that these ones are stitched with uh, micro stitches, so very, very, very tiny stitches. And here it's shown as a simple cross stitch. So seeing this, I already um, noticed and realized that this is not, the chart is not okay. 
And I started looking uh, in other sources for the materials of that which were needed. And where can I find the right, uh, the right uh, chart? And uh, in a video, YouTube video, a Russian stitcher. So she said that she stitched the, um, uh, the sampler from this book. So this is Donna Kuller's Encyclopedia of Needlework. So this is not a book of charts. This is a book with specialty stitches. So for needle point, for embroidery. So this is Bargello, Cruel Candle, Candle Wicking, Cut Work. So a lot, a lot of them. And among all these things, so they are showing you which fabric to use, for example, they are showing you um, which uh, threads to use, how to use them, and the stitch it itself. So this is an encyclopedia which shows you how to stitch, you see? So this is an encyclopedia which shows you how to stitch. See, so this is everything. And it's great, honestly, it's great. Um, I looked for this book uh, on eBay. I found it just on the eBay.com on um, English eBay. It wasn't. It's very cheap. It was like four dollars, I think, and it cost me more the postage shipping to UK from US than the book itself. But this book's worth every money. It's extremely great. So I, I even a little bit. I am glad that. <laughs> This thing happened with the chart which I bought from uh, uh, One to Free Stitch because uh, if this wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have had this beautiful book. So what is here actually uh, showing this kind of uh, stitches? So there is a point when they are teaching you these stitches and they are showing the acorn sampler. So he here is the. Um, chart of the acorn sampler showing how to do this speciality stitch stitching stitches and already here i saw that the materials are also given wrongly there because uh, it's not um, antique ivory fabric it should be light sand the color of fabric i already ordered it i don't have it because it should come <laughs> and uh, about the um, cranic so this one, yes, this one has to be present, like it's zero, zero, 002. But this one, zero, 032. This one, it's not even here, so it shouldn't be here. Apart from this, three more cranic shades have to be used. So these are the cranic shades which have to be used. And I bought them, but as you can see, I already bought the right materials which I need. And besides the DMC threads, you also need two shades of thread works. So these are the thread works, you see. So till the end, I actually bought the right, um, uh, correct materials to this uh, sampler. Uh, what happened with the chart I bought from One to Free Stitch? So after discovering all these things and convincing myself that the chart is wrong, I wrote immediately an email to the shop. Uh, telling them this thing and I said that I want a refund that I'm not going to send them the this chart because it's not my fault I'm not going to not sending them to the chart because uh, I didn't want to pay for the postage postage from UK to US because the chart is wrong and it's not my fault uh, the shop answered my email very quickly in like few hours. They made me a refund also quickly immediately and they just um, told me uh, the lady said that uh, she was trying to look what was wrong and she noticed that uh, um, the company Cooler Design Studio they just retrieved uh, this uh, chart from their shop. So the, the chart wasn't in the shop for sale. And she said that she's going to clear clarify what happened. But if the chart was not there, she said that probably it was something uh, wrong and they are going to clarify between themselves. And she told me that she already made me a refund. And when she's going to have an answer, she's going to tell me if I want, if I'm interested. I said that thank you for the refund. I don't need any more information because I already bought a book containing the chart. And thank you for a quick reply. So this is a happy ending of such a long story about the acorn sampler by uh, Donna Kuller.
The next um, thing I bought, it's uh, two charts. They are by uh, um, Stony Creek, but these are Lanarte um, um, designs. So um, they are old. Uh, if you find such um, kits uh, by Lanarte, it means that they are out of production. They, they are rare already. So um, honestly, I wanted them very much, this two. And the fact that I found them and I bought them, uh, and I bought them for a very, very good price. So this is pure luck. Honestly, this is pure luck. Uh, in my um, uh, video where I spoke about my cross-stitch stash, uh, where I was showing you my Lanarte kits, um, I don't know if you saw this video, if you remember this fact, uh, if I mentioned this fact, uh, I have such a, such a kit with such a pair on the seaside. And... Um, Honestly, in the last, because this kit is, was bought like two years ago, three, I don't remember exactly. So in the last year, I am thinking about um, finding uh, one more design from Lanarte, also in this style, as this pair is. But uh, on uh, that uh, um, uh, design to be also a pair, because there are such things. There are like two girls on the bikes, there is a girl with a dog, uh, breeding girl. So, but I wanted also a pair, so I didn't want to, I don't know why, so this is a thing. And uh, I saw this, uh, uh, this one was uh, stitched already, somebody on Instagram had it stitched, so she had the kit from old times. And uh, when I saw it, I said, aha, uh -huh, so this is going to be mine, so this is the pair kit for this pair. <laughs> But when I started looking for it, I just realized that uh, the best chance to find it is to find it as a chart. And uh, as a chart uh, issued by Stony Creek, I found two sellers in uh, UK, US, sorry, it was on uh, US eBay. Uh, they weren't extremely expensive. It was like 15 or from 15 to 19 dollars. And the thing is that everything which comes from US to UK the shipping usually costs it was like 15 dollars for for the shipping at least the the um, cheapest one was 25 pounds to buy it and i thought honestly that it's too expensive for uh, just for a chart and you won't believe it like i found it on ebay it was there a lady was selling it for five pounds at a bidding and nobody bought it so nobody needed i bought it for five pounds and the pound and 20 for the shipping so i, I already convinced myself that what is to be yours in terms of cross stitch let's say so it will be so if it has to come to your stash it will come and i'm extremely um how do i say happy that i found it and um, when I bought this one, because this one is new, but it was bought from eBay, so it doesn't look very okay, the, the package, but inside everything is okay. So when I bought this one and I looked at the materials, you see, uh, I didn't like the quality of the linen. It's, I just didn't like it, I don't know why. And when I already bought this one, I was even happier because I'm going to use my own linen for both designs. I don't know, maybe it's going to be uh, antique white, I don't know. So when time will come for stitching them, I'll decide which one is going to be which one. And uh, the same lady was selling one more uh, uh, booklet with charts. So this is three charts of children uh, uh, in the woods getting uh, wood for fire in winter. And uh, this one, uh, why do I, why did I want this one so much? Because uh, a while ago, it was less than a year, I think, somebody was selling the kits. So the kits from Lanarte, which are rare, was selling on eBay. When I saw them, so I liked them, I like analyzed them thoroughly. I fell in love with these designs, so literally fell in love. Uh, they were like on very low amount on the bidding on eBay and I said that I'm going to buy the three of them and I am going to have a beautiful, beautiful trio. And when the bidding started, uh, it seems that there was somebody who wanted them desperately for any price because uh, after losing the first one, I just realized that no, I'm not going to participate because still it's too expensive for me because the three of them went in the result uh, more than 75 pounds, I think it was under 80, 
So the three of them were sold under 80. And honestly, I thought it's too much. Yes, I understand that they are rare. I understand that they are not produced anymore. I understand that I wanted them so much. But anyway, here it's like simple linen and it's DMC threads. So no speciality threads, no cranic, no beads, no Swarovski elements. So honestly, it's too much. And uh, later um, appeared just one of them. I, it seems to me this one, this kit. Even I think it's uh, on eBay, UK eBay, it's even now. So it's all under 20. It's more than 15 and it's under 20. I don't remember. I was thinking about buying that one. But again, I said no. If I didn't have the three of them, I wouldn't buy one. So it's not like... This is it. So I didn't manage to buy them. I didn't do it. And honestly, by uh, at that time, I didn't even know that Lanarte has uh, such a um, uh, booklet but, uh, with uh, charts from Stony Creek. And when I saw this one, I was super happy. And I said, okay, let's see how it's going to, to be. It was like three or five pounds, the initial... Uh, um, Mm, amount again not a lot of people were like fighting for this one because in the end i was the winning bid with eight pounds and 20 and 50 i don't remember so it was eight pounds you see so between 80 and 8 there is a great difference yes i know that i have to provide the fabric i have to provide dmc threads but anyway it's not so so expensive and i have the three of them and i am super happy so sorry for speaking so much but this is a great great joy for me and i think it was a great great luck that i found these two charts well one more thing i bought so it was delivered today uh, just before the I am uh, recording this part of video. Uh, so this is another bell pull because I have uh, one more. That one is uh, pumpkin and I was showing it in shopping list of my August or September, I don't remember. So it's the same uh, brand and I bought one more because I am uh, I intend of uh, having um, pin kips uh, out of my uh, uh, Halloween, uh, some of my Halloween projects and I want to decorate my house with this uh, bell pulls with the pin kips. I hope something okay is going to end because I haven't uh, made such a thing so far but I am going to try hard to have something nice. I almost forgot to show you such a charm. So this is a pumpkin charm, a very nice little one. So I bought it from eBay. There were two in the pack, and one I already used for my uh, autumn uh, half doll. And uh, this one I think is going to be used for something else because they're very very nice. So this is all about my shopping um, cart, which I uh, have uh, get gathered so far because um, I decided that I'm going to have so far at least I'm going to have this uh, shopping videos just once a month because I'm usually showing you I'm filming them step by step so when the things come to me and um, I'm showing you what I bought so it's not necessarily to be cross stitch charts cross stitch kits I'm showing you everything you see like highlighters uh, uh, fabric which I need for um, pin keeps, uh, books, charts, bell pulls, because everything is bought for my uh, hobby. That's why I decided that uh, I want to show you. Um, I like such videos where uh, cross teachers uh, show their um, shopping cart and what they bought, because uh, in such videos I inspire myself. I found out many about many new and interesting uh, things like uh, accessories, cross stitch accessories, about uh, new designs and as well I find out about new shops, new shops where I can buy these things. And that's why these videos are usually one of my favorites. I hope you liked the video. If you did, just uh, hit a like to this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next videos. Bye bye!